Sunny and Rosie are a bonded pair of sisters and they're about four years old. They came to us from a woman that needed to relinquish her dogs. The young woman had moved out of state and left the dogs with her mother. Her mother didn't keep up the right um, diet for the dogs. The dogs suffer from uh, bladder stones and they need to be on a very specific diet which didn't happen and consequently Rosie ended up with bladder stones and ended up having to have surgery to remove the stones. Once uh, the daughter came back from New York and realized what was happening, she decided that probably the best place for the dogs would be at a rescue where we could find it a home that would follow up with the, you know, the special treatment that the dogs require. Pugnation of Los Angeles was formed by a bunch of volunteers. People think because they're pure breeds, nobody's going to dump a pug, and it's not true. A lot of it is due to their health issues. You know, because their eyes are exposed, they have special eye problems. Because their faces are squished in, they have breathing problems. It takes a special kind of person to adopt a dog that you know from the get-go has issues, especially because we're saying these dogs have to go out together. They cannot be separated because they are they're bonded. It would be tragic to have them separated after they've lived together for so long. It really is easier to have two dogs than just having one dog because you have another one to keep the other one company. In the evenings, you'll see them on one bed together. And it's not uncommon to look into the pen and see Sonny and Rosie together, you know, almost hip to hip. They are a little chunky. They are fawn colored. They have beautiful coats. They have really nice folds. They're fairly young, so they still, have a, they still have a lot of life left in them and they have a lot of love to give. When I look over here, I always see them smiling. They've always got this big grin on their face and their tongues hanging out and they're just happy. We do not shy away from any animal regardless of what their health problems are. I mean, we've had dogs here that are paralyzed, you know, that can't move on their own. We have elderly dogs here that we know have gone and finish off their lives in this facility. Our mission right now is to get them out of here as fast as possible for their own good. It's a very, very stressful environment and luckily, you know, we have a great facility. We have someone here 24-7, but it doesn't replace a home life. A good home would be one where uh, they're going to follow the diet that they need to stay on uh, and then, you know, make sure that they get regular vet visits to make sure that nothing else develops along the way. Um, a home where they're going to be allowed to be in the house and maybe a yard where they can run around. Uh, a home where they're going to be a part of the family. That they're not going to be segregated outdoors or you know, forgotten about. 